Good evening, YouTube. This is Michael, and this is a video I hoped I wasn't going to have to make, at least not any time soon. The, in case you didn't get a clue from the title and the thumbnail of this video, this video is to say goodbye to my dog and my co-star on the channel. Banjo. We had to make, my mother and I had to make the painful decision to put him to sleep this last week. So, this video serves as Banjo's obituary and tribute. And I know there's some of you out there who will probably say an obituary for a dog. I can only explain by saying, he, in my eyes, in my mother's eyes, he wasn't just a dog. He was a member of the family. He was basically like a, a you know, a little brother, a little child. You know, he definitely had his own personality, and he entertained us. He made us laugh. And it's never easy to say goodbye. Even when you know that they're in poor health and that the end is coming sooner than later, it's never easy to say goodbye. So, Banjo, we don't know his exact age. He was a rescue, basically. We, he adopt, we adopted him from the Pikes Peak Humane Society here in Colorado Springs. Um, he came into our lives on... August 13th, 2013, we estimate that he was about three and a half, four years old at the time. So, I'm pegging his year of birth as 2009. Um, those of you who have been with my channel for a while, um, he, entered our he entered my channel in the first lockdown video. Go to playlist lockdown videos you'll see him in quite a few of those videos his first appearance was in lockdown video one which was filmed on april 16th 2020 while the coronavirus was raging its ugly head um the here's the link for those of you who want to watch that video as i mentioned he departed for the Rainbow Bridge, which in urban mythology is where all deceased pets go to wait for their owners to join them in the afterlife. That occurred this last week, February 16th, 2022. He was a very quiet, loving dog. He was a Jack Russell Terrier slash Beagle mix. And I do have some pictures. Um, my mom was the one who officially adopted him from the Humane Society. He was with us for almost nine years. As I mentioned, you know, he was roughly 13 years old. So he was getting up there in years. And he started losing his eyesight. And also developed a problem with his back legs. We found out couple days before we had him put to sleep that he had that his body was just riddled with tumors we did not know we made the heart-wrenching decision to have him put to sleep and as it says here we he will be forever loved and very deeply missed from now until all time here are some pictures so you guys can get to know him a little better. This was the picture, this was the official picture for his adoption on, you know, seeking to have him adopted on the website for the Humane Society. This was the picture they chose to feature. One of the rare pictures, one of the rare times he was truly smiling. 
He did not smile often, but when he did, it was something you treasured and cherished. This is probably my second favorite picture. Of all these pictures, these, these three pictures that I'm just going to show you now, were when he was waiting to be adopted at the Humane Society. Just look at that cute little face. He's looking up eagerly, like, please take me home. I will be a good, loving, loyal dog. And he was. He truly was. And here's another picture. It's like he's saying, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. And then this one, he's like, Ooh, do I get to go out? Do I get to have fun? Do I get to exercise? You could not have asked for a more gentle, more loving companion. And for the mix of breeds that he was, he was very quiet, very docile. He was a real gift. And yes, I'm having trouble holding it together. The pain is still very fresh. And I miss him terribly. And I will. There's no doubt about that. In the next week or so, I hope to have a special scratch video in his memory. But I couldn't do that tonight. I couldn't do that for this video. I don't think I would be able to concentrate on the scratch. So, Banjo, I want you to know I love you. Always will. Always have. And until we meet again at the Rainbow Bridge, I know you're in a better place. Thank you all for joining me in this tribute. I hope you got a better sense of what kind of dog Banjo was. And if you haven't watched him in action on the lockdown videos, I invite you to do so. He really was a special dog. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.